guys. We are doing today Incredible God by J.J. Harrison. This is going to be an excellent tutorial. This is probably the most complex song that I've done on J Plays Keys yet. Doesn't mean it's the most difficult song, but it's pretty complex. You know, choir songs tend to be a little more, you, you got to be paying a lot closer attention as a musician than on a lot of these um, more simple songs like Thank You Lord or a hymn, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. This song is in the key of D flat, C sharp. There's a couple of different parts of the song, a couple different chunks. I want to teach it to you in phases, and we'll get through it together. So I'm really excited to bring this to you. So if you like this tutorial, if you think you're going to like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, subscribe to J Plays Keys, and turn on the notification bell so you get uh, notified whenever I come out with new gospel piano tutorials in the future. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do it. So the beginning of the song starts with, kind of this refrain here. Right, and so all that is, let's start with my left hand. C sharp, or D flat, right? C sharp, B, F sharp. Then you go again. What's my right hand doing? C sharp chord, A, C sharp, F. Sometimes I'll throw that E flat in there. B chord, B natural, F, B, C sharp, E flat. F sharp chord, F sharp, A flat, B flat, C sharp. And then, so those passing are just F sharp chord again, F sharp, A flat, B flat, C sharp, and then I'll kind of invert it. F sharp chord over here, B flat, C sharp, F sharp, back to my C sharp chord. All right, so how does that go? C sharp chord, B natural chord, F sharp. See? Let's go into the first part of the verse. He says, I have some problems, some great and some small. You be and God deliver me from them all. Okay? Let's go to my left hand. And again, uh, here, my left hand, I'm not really playing bass so much as I'm just showing you what the base of the verse is, right? So, I've had some problems, some great and some small, right? So, three four, five. Pretty easy. F, F sharp, A flat. Right? And then it goes all the way to me. We'll do that afterwards, right? So I'm going to play my right and left hand pretty close together on this part just because you're going to let the singer carry the song. The piano is going to be accompaniment, right? So, I've had some problems, some great and some small. So, my right hand is literally going to be a C sharp chord, F sharp chord, A flat chord. I'm following my left hand. So, C sharp chord over F, C sharp. I already showed you the C sharp chord. C sharp, F, A flat. F sharp chord, I already showed you the F sharp chord, F sharp, A flat, B flat, C sharp, and then the A flat chord, A flat, B flat, C, and E flat. And you might notice that on this part I'm playing it like, kind of cascading the notes down. So that's kind of how it sounds on the song, or you can go up. play that left hand F F sharp A flat wherever you want you can go straight up or sometimes I'll play the F up here and then I'll bring the F sharp down right and then 
some passing notes. hand is going all the ways you may right left hand is pretty simple so far in the song right f g a b flat still so it's like still can't believe all the ways you so what's the ways you made in my right hand? One way to do it is A, B flat, C, C sharp. A, B flat, C, C sharp. Right, and I'm kind of follow, I'm kind of playing those notes at the same time as my left hand. And then on that C sharp, I would hit this C, uh, B flat minor chord, F, B flat, C sharp. Or I can play the, the chords, which is a little more advanced. All the, which is just an F chord, C, F, A, G minor chord, D, G, B flat, bass. So F, G minor, the, bass. E flat, F sharp, A, C, you've made F, B flat, C sharp. So, however, you do it, still can't believe all the ways you made. This is just a passing I do. All that is is B flat minor chord, F, B flat, C sharp. A flat chord, E flat, A flat, C, C sharp, F, B flat. Because that takes you back to a uh, minor chord there. I don't know if that's in a song, it's just something that I do to fill the space, because you're kind of sitting on that for a while. All the ways you made. And then you go back. C sharp F deserves F sharp B flat E flat incredible praise back to what we learned at the beginning so let's do that one more time really slow in time and in So you learn. 
learn an entire portion of the song right there. All right, now how do I do the next portion of the song? Now, when you're ready to go to the next part, which is what kind of God, right? On that part, you would be, when you do Incredible God, and incredible, and incredible God deserves incredible praise, and you would just sit there, right? Praise, which is a C-sharp chord over F, and then you say, what kind of so an incredible God deserves incredible praise. And then in your left hand, it's what kind of F, C sharp, F. What kind of God. Okay, so left hand, what kind of God will do this for me. Okay, let's do it again. What kind of God would do this for me? Victory, grace, and mercy. He is so special. And then it goes into the simply incredible. Okay? So let's do this again and show you the right hand. What kind of God would do this for me? F sharp chord. C sharp, F sharp, B flat, A flat chord, E flat, A flat, C would do this for me. F, B flat, C sharp. Vic, okay, you're passing right there. Victory, grace and mercy, right? So Vic is E flat, A flat, C sharp, suspended chord there over F. Victory, C sharp, F sharp, B flat. Grace and mercy. All I'm doing is doing that over and over. So, victory, F sharp chord over F sharp, A flat chord over A flat, grace and mercy. Right? F, B flat, C sharp over B flat. Okay? And on the last part, he is so special. And then you go simply incredible. Remember, I showed you that? Simply incredible. Okay? That's it. Alright, so he is so special. Simply in incredible. And on that part, it actually gives you some chords to fill in the space, right? When you're coming off of when you're coming off of that that portion of the song. So he is so special. Simply in A flat B in my right hand, so I'm gonna walk up A flat B flat to this chord D A flat B D A flat B flat C sharp and then an incredible God. progression there is pretty complex so please re definitely take time to rewind if you didn't get those chords but um that is what it does in the song right let me do it one more time in time Sim he is so special simply incredible right and then praise. If you're going back to what kind of God, you'll do credible praise. And you'll sit in this F in your left hand. Right? If you are ending that part, you would go, you would end on, wait, you might. 
computer from restarting. There we go. Incredible grace. Right? Oh, oh. And then at this part, the choir goes, oh. talked about right C sharp or a C sharp B chord or a B F sharp over F sharp okay and it does go low a bunch of times Alright, so at that part, after you come up the OOO, the song kind of transitions into more of a call and response. So here's how you do it. Etc. Etc. Right. So I just wanted to walk through a couple different phrases you might hear at the end of the song. But the good thing for you as a musician at this point, it's just call and response. You're playing the exact same chord progression the entire rest of the song until they go back to an incredible God deserves. Right. So this entire part of the song, which lasts about two or three minutes, depending on your worship service, you're playing this. Let me start with the left hand. Praise. kind of the first time you're just walking up straight and then the second time through you go you know you're you're walking to the same destination but the second time you add these little half steps and you don't have to do the half steps every other time you can decide when you do the half steps based on how the uh, energy and spirit of your worship service is going but I just want to show you exactly what's on the song so that you can pick and choose when you play it right so you have all the tools you need so what's my right hand doing grace grace he deserves he deserves grace grace he deserves he deserves grace right again kind of walking up then on the second time i'll go okay so B minor chord, B minor chord over this B flat, or sorry, B flat minor chord over this B flat, suspended chord over this F, E flat, A flat, C sharp, and then F sharp chord over this F sharp, A flat chord over this A flat, A flat, C, E flat, maybe add that B flat in there, and then you're back to the B flat minor chord, right? So that's how it goes, right? So it's grace, grace, he deserves, he deserves. So how does it go the second time? You might say grace, grace, he deserves, he deserves. So what am I playing on those on those half steps? So I'm playing F sharp chord over F sharp, and then I play an E flat chord over this G. So G, B flat, E flat, and then an A flat chord over this A flat, and then an F chord over the A, A, C, F, and then praise, praise, he deserves, E flat chord, F chord, suspended, suspended. So I hope you were 
able to get that chord progression as well. It seems kind of it seems kind of challenging a little bit, but once you understand what we're doing, you can go back and rewind and make sure you're seeing exactly what I'm playing. I think you'll you'll find it pretty pretty interesting and pretty fun to play. And again, you don't have to do that the whole song. He says a whole bunch of stuff at the end of the song. All you're doing is this. coming off of grace grace he's incredible he's incredible and incredible god deserves incredible praise and then you can end it however you want to end it for your worship service you can end it right there on this c sharp chord or you can end it on the four song you can end it all right guys so you just learned the entire song incredible god by jj harrison give me some feedback guys let me know how you enjoyed this tutorial if it was helpful to you if you want to see me do more choir songs like this in the future it takes a lot of work from me <laughs> to do this song so please go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you thought about the tutorial and also you know click that subscribe button to j plays keys so that you can be notified when we come out with new videos in the future all right, guys, I'll be back next week with another great tutorial. Until then, practice hard and be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.